Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're not. So for today's look I'm doing this makeup inspired by Olivia Culpo at this year's Oscars. The makeup was originally done by Sir John and he created this beautiful lilac eye so I wanted to try my own version of it. I will have a full list of all the products and brushes I use on my blog and I will have a link to that down below as usual. So I hope you like the look and I hope you enjoy. The first shade that I'm using on my eyes is actually a blush. This is Mulberry from La Femme and I'm taking that on a pro blending crease brush from Crown. So I'm basically buffing that all over the eye. I'm starting across the lid and then going into the crease and blending upwards and then I'll also buff it under the eye as well. Um, this is more of a warm purple lilac shade so there's more kind of pink and red undertones to it and that is what was peeking through around the edges as opposed to the kind of the cool lilac shades that was across the lid. So then I'm taking this Lancome eyeshadow and a C124 firm shadow brush from Crown and I'm popping that all over the lid. I'm starting on the inner half and blending outwards um, across the lid. And then I'm also taking it in around the inner corner and then dragging it underneath the eye um, under the lashes. To give it a little bit more shine I'm taking Purple Horseshoe from the Moonchild Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm popping that into the inner corner, dragging it underneath a little bit and then also blending it up onto the lid a little bit as well. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal Super Liner Mathematic in the shade Ultra Black and I'm just taking that literally into the lash roots. I'm not trying to create any kind of a liner effect. It's just to add a little bit of darkness there to create the effect of fuller lashes and also to give a little bit of a base for my lash band when I put on my falsies. And I'm also just gently running it in along the um, inner corner tear duct area. I'm not taking it into the lower waterline but I'm just going to um, gently drag it along the lash roots underneath as well. For my mascara I'm using the L'Oreal False Lash Superstar X Fiber Mascara. I'm just curling my lashes first and then applying a coat of the step one on top and bottom and then step two on top and bottom. For my brows I'm using my trusty brows from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade medium brown and I'm first using that to sketch out my shape underneath and on top and then I'll fill in and I try to get my brows a little bit straighter than normal um, to be just a little bit more similar to Olivia's. And then I also like to use the spoolie to brush that product through the brow. I'm then going over that with the darker shade from the 107R eyeshadow from Inglot and a MAC 266 brush. So I'm just popping that mainly through the body of the brow and then just popping the excess through the front. For lashes I'm applying Inglot 17N lashes, they're nice and natural, I just applied those off camera. And then onto the face I'm using the infallible 24 hour matte foundation from L'Oreal in the shade 12 and I'm applying that with a rounded buffing foundation brush, there's no brand on this, it's just a generic one. So I'm starting on my cheeks where I have, or so I'm starting on the cheeks where I have the most mist so I'm starting on my cheeks where I have the most discoloration and where I need the most coverage and then I'm blending out from there and once I have my full face on then I do come back in with a little more product and press it on over my cheeks where I want to add any coverage then rather than doing a thick layer all over I like to do um just a medium layer all over and then go back in and touch up anywhere I need to so as you can see here I'm applying a little bit more and just pushing it on to get the most coverage I can. For my under eyes I'm using NYX's Dark Circle Concealer Corrector in the shade Medium and I'm using that on a Sigma P84 which is basically a fluffy angled synthetic brush. So I'm just pushing that over the areas where I get my darkness so right under the eye and in up against the nose. And then I'm taking a light shade concealer. I'm not sure what this is because I decanted it a while ago. I believe it was from Sephora though um, and it's just a lighter shade that I'm using as a highlight concealer. So I'm buffing it under the eye, um, bringing it down onto the cheek and up onto the cheekbone. And I'll also take it through the center of the face as well. So it's also going down the center of the nose and up onto the forehead in the center. Um, it'll go above the top lip and also in the center of the chin. And then I'll start to blend all of that out with my concealer brush first and then I'll go back in with my foundation brush to make sure that it is nice and blended in with the foundation. And then I'm just touching up the under eye of my shadow with that first shade on the blending brush. 
To set all that, I'm using my Broken Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade Transparent on a Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm just popping that all over the skin to set using pressing motion so as not to move any of the product underneath. For contour, I'm first going into the NYX Contour Palette and taking the shade Sculpt on a Sedona Lace FB03 powder brush. And I'm popping that under the cheekbone in swiping motions and circular motions at the back to blend it out. And I'll also pop that around the forehead and under the jawline as well. And then it also started absolutely hailing outside. So moving on, I'm then taking Ben Nye's Taupe Eyeshadow and using that to define my contour a little bit more. So I'm taking that under the cheekbone again, but being a little bit more precise with it. I'm then switching to the Cosette D220 brush, which is like a tapered crease brush. And I'm using that with the Ben Nye Taupe Eyeshadow to contour my nose. I'm just taking it on the very tip of the brush and doing straight lines down the sides of my nose, bringing it in a little bit to make it a little bit slimmer. And then I'll also look straight ahead in the mirror and see where the light is hitting the wider parts of my nose. I do have like a bump in the center of my nose and then um, obviously the ball of my nose at the end. And I'm just doing circular motions over those areas to blend a little bit more product to kind of hide that. But the lights that I'm using are quite harsh and do create um, harsher shadows. So it will only conceal so much. And as you can see, I'm just blending that by pressing over with my foundation brush. I'm then going back into my La Femme blush palette and taking a Joby and I'm popping that onto the apples of my cheeks and blending backwards. Then for my highlight, I'm going back to the NYX contour palette and taking the shade Nectar and I'm applying that with a Morphe M501 brush. So I'm popping that along the tops of the cheekbones and blending it up around the temple as well. For my lip liner, I'm using Chocolate from Collection, not that you can tell because it's so worn and so used. So I'm just lining my lips with that. I'm not um, going to be colouring the corners of the lips and creating an ombre effect as I often do. I'm just lining um, to get a nice shape and a little bit of darkness around the edge. I'm then taking the Collection Cream Puff Lip Cream in the shade Powder Puff and I'm using that as my lip colour all over the lips and blending in with that liner. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it and I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up by clicking the like button that's down below and also subscribe while you're here. I'd love to have you on board. As I said, I'll have a full list of all the products and brushes I use on my blog and I will have a link to that down below as usual. So that's all from me. Thanks again guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye.